Everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, July 31st, the last day of July, if you can believe that as we head into into August. We've got uh, two old people with us today. I'm one of them. I'm one of the <laughs> old people. And, and then we got two young people who are just starting off on their on their adventures in life. Uh, let me first of all start to introduce you to one of the older guys here, Wally Pfeffer. You know, that's a compliment, Wally. You yes, know? it is. Wally Pfeffer. And um, I, when I, I, I think of you as partially Mr. Mizzou himself. <laughs> well, thank but you. you. You brought along two young ladies, uh, and I want you to introduce them and tell me why they're here today. Well, on, on my right is Rebecca Shu from Hickman High School. Hi, Rebecca. Going to be a freshman at Mizzou. And on my left is Madeline Owens from Battle High School, going to be a freshman at Mizzou this year. Yeah. And they are two of our five uh, Boone County Alumni Association scholarship winners for this coming school year. Now, the Boone County Chapter Scholarship. Is this something that you do every year? Yes, sir. We've done this for almost 40 years. 40? 40 years, probably given close to 400000 in scholarships over that time. This year we'll give out about $15,000 worth of scholarships. How many young people did you have apply? Uh, the students apply through the General Mizzou Student Scholarship application, and we had 172 that we reviewed in a paper review. 172. 172, and we cut that down to a dozen students that we interviewed. Uh, several alumni sat in and interviewed uh, each of those dozen students, and uh, we selected uh, seven, five of whom decided to come to Mizzou, and uh, these are two of those five. And that's got to be difficult. It has to be a difficult situation, uh, narrowing it down from 170-something to five? Yes, sir. And we have two of the five with us today. Rebecca Shu, how do you how did you feel when you realized that you that you were one of the winners? I was really excited. I've always loved Mizzou and to get more money really helps. <laughs> <laughs> that that'll help. That'll yeah. help, right? So you're 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 gonna start this fall. Yes. What are you looking forward to most about going to this wonderful university? Um definitely meeting new people and getting more involved on campus and the community. Yeah, and you'll be majoring in what? Computer science. Computer science. Yes. Oh, you are a smart one, aren't you? Uh, I oh, hope. <laughs> <laughs> you are a smart one. Were you surprised that you won? Yeah, I definitely was not expecting to get this, but um, it was definitely a pleasant surprise. Yeah, well, congratulations. Thank congratulations you. on that. And then Madeline Owens. Yeah, you, you. What school, high school, did you go to? Battle. Battle High School. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> when you realized that you were one, did you know you were a finalist, or did you just find out you were a winner? Um, so I had to do an interview, and so that's when I figured out I was a finalist. Um, but I was actually in Florida for the interview, so we had to do like a Skype interview. So that was uh, challenging and nerve wracking for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but then after that, then it was like a couple of weeks later that I figured out that I won. Were, were, did they give you any hints that you maybe were going to win? Um, not really, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> so when you found out, it was a total surprise. Yes, yeah. And what are you going to major in? I'm going to major in journalism and business administration. Well, I wish you the very best of luck. And you, the, what, are you, what are you most excited about of, uh, of coming to school here? Definitely the J School. Um, as soon as I knew I wanted to do journalism, it was kind of just like, yeah, I got to go to Mizzou. Yeah, I mean, the J School, the J School famous around the world. Yes. And I wish you the very best of luck with that. And, and I hope that one day we'll be seeing you on NBC, ABC, uh, CBS, CNN, or any of them. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so do you want 
What, 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 what is your uh, what is your goal to to become a reporter or an anchor? Um, a reporter for sure. Um, TV makes me really nervous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'd want to be a reporter, and hopefully, like with my business um, degree, I could like own my own news company. Uh, oh, you're going big time! You're going to own yes. your own news company. That's, that's the big dream. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, Rebecca, yes. re- plans for the future? What? Um, I actually want to get my PhD. And mm-hmm. then maybe be an administrator at some university, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Well, I, I wish you both the, the very best of luck. You're two charming young ladies. I think they made a great choice in, in <laughs> picking you both. Wally, what, what do you want to add to this? Well, we did have three other scholarship winners, uh, Nathan Holtmeyer uh, from uh, Tolton. We also had uh, uh, Cameron Fuller from Rockbridge. And, oh, okay. Oh, Macy Love from Hallsville. And they couldn't be with us today. No, well, it, your set is large, but not that large. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But we send, our, we send our best wishes out to them. Uh, people who are listening to us now, how do they apply for the scholarship for next year? When, uh, when the university opens general scholarship application, that process, mm-hmm. uh, they can apply through financial aid and through the scholarship programs. Uh, and we may eventually see those scholarships uh, applications, and that's where we ended up with 172. The process has changed a little from days before when people would apply specifically for our scholarship, but the university now has a general scholarship application, and they send it out to various groups like ours for consideration for the students. And how how much money have you given out over 40, 40 years? 40 years. Uh, probably close to four hundred thousand dollars because we're doing fifteen thousand this year and we've been at that level consistently for the last 10 years certainly and how do you raise that money uh we do an appeal Uh, we're getting ready to do an appeal later on this year by mail and by email and last year that raised about eighteen hundred dollars a lot of the activities that we have through the year when there's income uh, we put that income towards our scholarship program Uh, and we've been blessed that about 30 years ago, we established an endowment, and we now have about $160,000 in our endowment so that we know if the board all of a sudden decided to retire at once, there'd be enough money to provide for one or two scholarships in our absence. So, oh, that's nice. Well, it was a far-sighted idea. Susie Robinson exactly. gets a lot of the credit for that. Yeah, well, Ladies, we're just about out of time, but is there anything either one of you want to add before we go? Um, well, thank you to the Missouri Alumni Association, for sure, for this mm-hmm. opportunity. And? Yes, yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Well, when you when you start your own uh, news company, either a newspaper, what, what, what do you want, a newspaper, or do you want a uh, television station? Uh, I like digital news. Um, yeah, newspaper, digital, yeah. Okay. All right, you got your, set, your site set pretty high there. And I hope, <laughs> I do hope that newspapers continue to thrive. They're going through some hard times right now, but I don't think people realize how important the newspaper is. And not not just digital, but being able to hold that in your hand, too, because I'm an old-fashioned guy. That's why I get both of them here in town. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. Paul, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, Friends of Historic Boonville and Missouri, Missouri River Cultural Ceremony. We'll see you then. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu. Bye-bye.